four topics today, but they're big ones. So uh, we're going to talk about Lindsay, Rudy, Trump, the kids, the subpoenas, the spouses. That's it. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so why not get caught up on all this stuff? So Lindsey Graham, Rudy Giuliani, you know, part of the uh, team that's been subpoenaed uh, in Georgia. So how is that gonna work out for them? So we'll look at that. Trump and the kids and the New York subpoena. Okay, so Trump and uh, at least Ivanka and uh, Donald, because Eric's already uh, given uh, testimony to the grand jury in New York, that's right. So yeah, so Trump and um, Ivanka and um, Don Jr., uh, that subpoena, they have to go, it's over, this is it. And then finally, what's going on, with, um, we're so frustrated that uh, Gorsuch hasn't uh, filed uh, any movement towards Trump. I'm gonna tell you what, I believe he has self-pardoned himself. Nobody would know about that but the Department of Justice. And I wouldn't be surprised if the kids and their spouses are included too. So we'll take a draw on that. Okay, so we're going to uh, start uh, with this good tarot because the subject is so, all of the subjects are so yucky, uh, I thought let's uh, balance it out with the good tarot. So here we go. So yeah, I've got a list off to my side here. So the Georgia subpoenas. Okay, so Lindsay and Rudy uh, among others, a lot of others, as a matter of fact, a lot of notable others, uh, are going to have to answer to uh, their actions in Georgia. And I think that's so uh, important because of the last subject we're going to talk about, which are the Trump uh, self-pardon, which I'm sure has happened. Um, now, uh, so Rudy and Lindsay will do a draw on each of them regarding those subpoenas. Uh, Trump and the kids in New York. Okay, that one is going forward. Okay. So that's Letitia James in New York and I think Fonnie Willis in, in Georgia. So he is going to have to testify. The kids have to testify and Eric already has. And then the final is the Trump self-pardon. You know, you know that he did it. He, he has said about other things, what have I got to lose? And that's exactly what he would say to himself if someone said, well, it can't be done, it's never be done. He would say, well, what have I got to lose? I think he's got a pocket pardon. I think the Department of Justice knows about it. And uh, and that's why there's no uh, movement there because of that. So all the weight now shifts to Georgia and New York. Those two uh, jurisdictions uh, are not, uh, you know, the states are independent of a presidential federal pardon. So, but before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay, so we'll go right off the top. Let's do four cards on uh, Lindsey Graham regarding that Georgia subpoena. We know that he's going to testify. Let's see, is um, there gonna be information in there that uh, damages Lindsey? That's what I wanna know. Will the information that he has to testify in uh, Georgia uh, damage Lindsay, four cards. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's see how that goes. Okay, first card up for Lindsay, Georgia subpoena. Is he going to get hurt? 
Okay, so this is the seven of fire, the seven of wands. Wands are, uh, fire is wands. Wands are actions, motions forward, plans, uh, things coming at you, uh, issues. And the seven of wands is just, you know, typically this is represented by someone on a hill with one wand kind of fighting, fending off the other ones kind of poking up around him. So in this interpretation, though, I don't know. It looks like perhaps, yeah, this unicorn, you could uh, presume to be an enchanted, uh, lucky, um, you know, with luck on their side, um, foe here. And uh, these uh, very difficult uh, flashes of light uh, represent a lot of challenge for that. So, yeah, this is going to be tough for, for Lindsay. Um, the next card on that for Lindsay and the Georgia subpoena is the Queen of Fire. Oh, wow. So we're going to stick with Wands, and now we have the Queen of Wands. And in Georgia, this is going to be Fawny uh, Willis. Next one up is the Page of Earth. You know, Earth is pentacles. Pentacles are value. And the page is a very small, uh, uh, unimportant, uh, the least uh, important member of those royal Flush those flood royal cards, um, but that's just an idea or a message. And so, is this Lindsay? Is this all that he really represents? Just a message? I mean, perhaps. And then the final a card for Lindsay and the subpoenas is the Four of Fire. Wow, three cards of wands. And um, the uh, Four of Wands is really, oh my gosh, I can't remember the Four of well, Wands, of course, are actions, plans, forward movement. And the, the Four of Wands is kind of really. It being in a protected place almost. So I think, um, yeah, it'll probably be personally, um, if he had uh, a moral responsibility feeling in him, uh, bad for him, but otherwise I think it's just going to be a hassle and he'll get through it just fine. And um, that's amazing. Now Rudy Giuliani, same thing. What's going to happen with him and this Georgia subpoena? Oh, I can just imagine Already, he's trying to figure out how he can lie without sounding like he's lying, which will end up sounding like he's lying. So, Rudy Giuliani, Georgia subpoenas, is he going to suffer a damage uh, from these subpoenas as well? Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, again, four cards for Rudy. One, two, three, and four. Rudy and the Georgia subpoena. Four cards. First one up is going to be ah the messenger of water. So messenger. This has got to be like a um, page also. It can't be because you've got a page in this deck. So if this is a messenger, it's, it has to be l lower probably than even a page. So uh, water, of course, is emotions and compassion. And uh, so you start with Rudy Giuliani not having, uh, he, there's not much emotional draw for him anymore. It's kind of really the opposite. The next for uh, Rudy and the subpoenas, this nine of water. So the, um, nine of water is uh, telling us that um, this is an overabundance, okay? This is uh, plenty of emotion to go around. And uh, so that's very interesting. The next card up is uh, back to wands, back to fire. And here we have the page of fire. So again, it's this, uh, a very weak uh, message of a plan. Interesting. And then the final card being the high priestess is some sort of general, um, almost otherworldly knowledge. That's interesting for him. So for Rudy Giuliani on the George of Penis, we, we start out with a messenger of, of, of hope, of compassion. Uh, then we go right up to a nine of uh, compassion immediately. Uh, so just a, a huge outpouring. Then we come back to a page of fire. So just a message of some information. So again, I think he wasn't that important. As important as he seems, it wasn't that much. And then we end up with just using our intuition. And uh, I think that tells us that he is another one who was never who we, th we thought he was. And he got caught up in this uh, mess in his dotage. And that's where he ended up. And yeah, he's going to be damaged. Trump and the kids in the New York subpoena. So just like uh, Georgia, this uh, New York subpoena, I think has run its uh, route of being um, challenged. And uh, now he has to um, go ahead and he'll have to testify. Of course, I'm sure it'll be taped. Um, and delayed even more uh, now 
but yeah, so he and those kids have to testify, and uh, their pocket uh, uh, pardons aren't going to help them in New York. So let's do uh, one, three cards, one for each, one for Trump, one for Ivanka, and one for uh, Junior. One, two, three. And if we need more cards, we'll we'll deal with it. Okay. So first card up. Uh, regarding that New York subpoena, what does this represent for Donald Trump? The sun. Shining a light on everything. Okay? Uh, Ivanka. The chariot. And look at this. Beautiful young woman on uh, you know, guiding that chariot. So things coming down fast. She won't waste any time in getting to the truth. And then finally for Don Jr. The star. Well... That's interesting. I think that's how he sees himself. And if he can spin this in some way to make himself come out as the uh, as the um, the savior in all of this, that's what he's going to try to do. So very interesting. So we have Donald Trump as the sun, meaning yes, all everything's going to be out in the open, uh, shown down on. Um, Ivanka will be the first one to the table, the first one to arrive, whatever with whatever her compromise is, and then and uh, it's pillar guts. And then the final one is Don Jr., the star, and yeah, he's going to try to spin this in some way that uh, he comes out uh, smelling like a rose, which of course he won't. Finally, we're going to go Trump self-pardon and the kids uh, and the spouses so i'm just let's do a, a six card diet across for all of that see how what kind of a vibe we get around trump did he self-pardon himself and the kids and the kids spouses because there was reference to that uh, definitely in some of the material that's been on tv jeez I, i'm sounding like those conspiracy theorists now in the in reverse but anyway so six cards for trump self-pardon the kids and the spouses okay is that a is that a thing okay six one two three four five and six okay six cards died across the signifier card Trump, self-pardon, and the kids, ace of fire. So that was the big plan. Uh, fire are wands, and wands are a plan. So yeah, that was the the big plan. A secret uh, pardon. The challenge to that is uh, the magician. Yep. The challenge to this secret plan is the one who has everything on their table to uh, get a thing done. Let's just pray to God that this means the U.S. Uh, United States of America has a way to figure this out. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's not much of a challenge, is it? The base of this reading, then, is this nine of air, so the nine of swords, and uh, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And so the nine of swords is a nightmare. And so the bottom of all of this um, is that this is a night the only way out of this nightmare was with this magical plan almost the uh, past of this reading uh, an ace of water so yeah all the compassion all of emotion anything any heartfelt situations regarding this are way out the door by now way in the past uh, now it's just a matter of survival the sky of this for uh, the trump self-pardon uh, six of water so this is, you know, wanting things to be the way they were. Water is cups. It's uh, past. It's emotion and compassion. And yeah, so in the sky, this whole thing is wishing things were just back to the way they were before all this started to happen. And this is Trump regarding that uh, self-pardon, which is good where it puts things, actually. And then the final outcome is this high priestess. Use your intuition. If he had the option available to him, wouldn't he say, what do I have to lose? Write it up. That's Trump. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, the kids and the spouses. Same thing. So that would have been Ivanka, Jared, Don. Don's wife wasn't as involved, but Eric and Eric's wife was very much involved in all of the stuff that was going on. So, yep, I could see it. So six cards, um, the kids and their spouses. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Kids 
and their spouses. Is that a thing? Signifier card. Subpoena for the kids and the spouses. Six of fire. Again, wands. Uh, the six uh, of, of wands is uh, really having a, f a nice, equal, fair, um, almost kind of a bird's eye view of what's going to happen. The seven of fire, again, that's uh, wands, uh, too. And so this is, again, it being up on that cliff, uh, keeping all the other uh, plans at bay. Interesting. The uh, bottom of this, with this nine of air, this nine of swords, is the same nightmare that we had for Donald Trump and in the same location. The past of this, with this page of water, is a very small uh, emotional consideration. Didn't mean much to a dad really to do that, just uh, why not? Uh, in the sky of this is the star. Well, it looks like Donnie uh, is showing up again. So uh, I wonder if he's the one who really uh, made sure that this happened. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this two of swords is having to make a choice. And if you had to make a choice, uh, do I get a, a pardon that I maybe can't use or do I go naked without it? Let me just go ahead and get it. See if it helps. Yeah. And the spouses. So everybody got covered. And that's why you won't see the Department of Justice um, going after Donald because they know they can't win. They're not going to go into a lawsuit that they know they can't win. And they're the only ones who would know that this thing exists, except for us, possibly Biden. It's just something that wouldn't be talked about. Well, that was pretty incredible. I mean, I could have never predicted the way that came out. So, yeah, all of those subjects got them crammed in. And uh, I hope you liked it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed uh, these are great cards. They come in a really nice box. It's kind of substantial. The guidebook that comes with them is useful. Um, it's, it's, it talks about all the cards. It's got some good ideas for divination, and it's easy to read. So that I like. The cards themselves are nice cards. I mean, they're, they're, um, they're sturdy. They've got a beautiful back. They're a little glossy. They're kind of biggish, but not um, difficult to use, at least not for me. And uh, you can see, again, the art on these cards just goes from, from right to the edge of the card. And there's lots of beautiful stuff here to see. So I do this to kind of mix the cards without damaging them and to give you an opportunity to look at them if you don't look at cards uh, very much. Um, you know, not everybody goes out and buys uh, tarot cards or has a chance to flip through the deck. So that's kind of uh, a little preview of what's in these cards. These are the Taracho, uh, not Taracho. These are, as a matter of fact, who puts these out? I have forgotten completely. So, don't know. Hay House. So not a, a brand that I see very often, but uh, nice cards and I really love using them. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.